King Charles is keeping close tabs on these famous animals living at Tower of London. King Charles is looped with the latest on the ravens at the Tower of London, a tradition with a superstitious history. The King, 75, is staying up to date on the birds that live at the London landmark, Ravenmaster Michael Chandler revealed in a new interview. They are serving His Majesty as much as we in the, King's, bodyguard do, Chandler told The Telegraph in a piece published on August 16, adding that King Charles does check up on them regularly, as did his mother, Queen Elizabeth. The outlet specified that King Charles keeps up through an annual report about the Tower of London, which is a popular tourist attraction as the home of the crown jewels. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. As the legend goes, ravens have been kept at the Tower of London since the reign of King Charles II, who ruled from 1660 to 1685, because he feared the kingdom would fall if they left the fortress. It is said that the king's astronomer John Flamsteed, who had an observatory in the White Tower, complained that the resident ravens were impeding his work and requested their removal, historic royal palaces states about the superstition. The king was advised that if the ravens left the tower then the kingdom would fall, an alarming sentiment for a recently restored monarch and the legend has been kept alive ever since. The Tower of London currently houses seven ravens named Jubilee, Harris, Poppy, Georgie, Edgar, Branwen, and Rex, which is Latin for king and named in honor of King Charles' coronation in May 2023. A veteran of the Royal Marines and Yeoman Warder Guard at the Tower of London since 2009, Chandler became Ravenmaster in March and told the Telegraph that he wasn't particularly interested in birds when became a Yeoman Warder, or Beefeater, 15 years ago. Initially, the draw was the legend of the ravens and then being here seeing them, working among them, it was just natural he explained. I fell in love with the ravens. They're individuals, they are characters, just like us. In his raven master role, Chandler leads a team of four yeoman warders who look after the blackbirds at the historic fortress, which attracts almost three million visitors per year. They are fed a special diet of mice, chicks, rats and raw meats, with blood-soaked biscuits given as a treat. The raven's flight feathers are kept partially trimmed to encourage them to stay at the tower, historic royal palaces said, where they seem to be having plenty of fun this summer. The Tower of London's social media team has kept its feed updated with what some of the birds are up to, from a cheeky peck at the White Tower to a refreshing splash in a bath. A letter King Charles wrote in the immediate aftermath of Princess Diana's August 31, 1997, death is shedding new light on his grief. The King, who was then Prince Charles, wrote about unbearable emptiness just under four months after the late Princess of Wales died in a car accident in Paris. The letter, sent to Peter Houghton, recently sold at auction for $2,000, according to the Daily Mail. It is clear in the letter that Houghton is also grieving, as the former Prince of Wales writes that his heart bleeds for him following the death of dear Liz, who the royal referred to as a life enhancer, after an illness. Charles added that he could imagine the agony Houghton was going through and longed to wave a magic wand to transform the situation. The letter then addresses his bewilderment and confusion that accompanies the removal of someone so young from the world, a familiar feeling, as his ex-wife, Princess Diana, was just 36 at the time of her death. The three-page handwritten letter was written on Highgrove House letterhead, and dated December 8, 1997, just over three months after Princess Diana died, leaving behind sons Prince William and Prince Harry, then just 15 and 12, respectively. It is signed Charles and has its original envelope included in the sale, which had the future monarch's instructions for the letter to be delivered by hand. For the Daily Express, the seller of the letter is unknown. The letter's sale was handled by R.R. Auction out of Boston, and a spokesperson for the company said that this lengthy handwritten letter to Peter expresses his sympathy upon the death of a loved one. Charles was likely particularly emotional at the time he wrote the letter, 
as Princess Diana had tragically passed away just a few months before in August 1997.